from war in the Middle East to war in Europe. Ukrainian forces have made their deepest push into Russian territory since the start of the war, advancing nearly 18 miles into the Kursk region. This distance marks the farthest any Ukrainian force has penetrated into Russia since the conflict began in February of 2022. The surprise assault, launched last week, has caught Moscow off guard, forcing Russia to mobilize additional reserves, tanks, drones, and artillery in a bid to repel the attack. Senior Ukrainian military officials revealed that thousands of their soldiers are now involved in the operation, and this incursion has shown the wide open cracks in Russia's border defenses. A Ukrainian defense source said, quote, Putin is humiliated. We've embarrassed Russia once again. We have shown to the Russian people that their czar cannot protect them, end quote. Late on Saturday night, President Volodymyr Zelensky broke his silence on the Ukrainian incursion into Russia. Even though the Ukrainian president did not mention curse directly, he thanked his soldiers for their courage in taking the fight to the aggressors. Today, I received several reports from Commander-in-Chief Sersky regarding the front lines and our actions to push the war onto the aggressor's territory. I am grateful to every unit of defense forces ensuring that. Ukraine is proving that it can indeed restore justice and ensure the necessary pressure on the aggressor. In another address, President Zelensky said that Russia had launched nearly 2,000 cross-border strikes from the Kursk region over the summer, and it was now time for Moscow to witness a fair response. ...of this summer, and only from the Kursk region, our Sumy region suffered almost 2,000 strikes. Artillery, mortars, drones. We also monitor every missile strike, and each such strike deserves a fair response. The operation has also seen Ukrainian special forces conducting drone attacks deep within Russia, hitting military targets, including a crucial airfield. Additionally, an amphibious raid by Ukrainian forces in the Black Sea has further strained Russian defenses. And with civilians now being evacuated from other parts of the Kursk region, the situation is rapidly evolving. Russia is deploying reinforcements in a desperate bid to halt the Ukrainian advance. But as the operation continues, only time will tell just how far Ukrainian forces can advance inside Russian territory. From the start of this war, we've all seen Russian troops advance throughout Ukraine, but now the world watches to see how Putin responds when his own country is under attack. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. Kamala, you're fired. I say, bring it on. If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree. A News 18 Network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Across the 
the West Indies more than you expect. Hello and welcome to First Coast America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C.